Hello, I'm Mickey Boardman. Welcome to Cohort Selects. I am the director of special projects at Paper Magazine, where I have worked for 32 years. I have lived in this apartment for 30 years. This is the first place I ever lived alone. It's your, your safe place and your sanctuary, so that's really what my apartment means to me. I've always been around very arty people. I'm sort of a curator more than a collector in a way because I feel like I like to make groupings of things or be surrounded by things that I just think are amazing. So I've always been attracted to things that are visually stimulating and exciting and just I sort of have a visceral reaction to I just look at and smile or squeal with delight. One of my favorite places in the entire universe, I cry every time I go there and it makes me so happy when I think about it, is Creative Growth Art Center in Oakland, California. And a lot of my art is from there and it's the nation's oldest and largest art center for the mentally and physically disabled. So they work with people with disabilities, teach them to make art. They, their belief, which I completely agree with, is that there's no such thing as outsider art, that art is art no matter who creates it. My first favorite piece is by an artist named William Scott. Every single thing he does is super positive, just super, super positive, and I'm a cockeyed optimist. The experience of going to creative growth and seeing the artist's work and meeting them adds a whole other dimension to my loving their art. So there's a lot of sentimental memory attached to that piece as well for me. On certain days, I would say my all-time favorite artist is an artist named Stephen Tashjian, who was also a drag queen named Taboo. His art is brilliant and genius. I invited him to my 30th birthday party. As a gift, he brought this I Love You This Much piece, which is a gouache that he did on paper. It's something familiar and nostalgic and emotional. I'm excited to have anything of his, let alone pieces that I love. One of my favorite photographers is named Gary Lee Boaz. From the time he was young, in sort of the glory days of the TV talk show, he would go to Philadelphia and stand outside the studio to see great movie stars who were coming to be on the talk show. People like Ethel Merman, John Lennon, and Yoko Ono. And Gary would photograph them. He also was an autograph collector. And that was a time when there were so many of the great stars of the golden era of Hollywood. The photo that I have, he had his friend take a picture of him with Gloria Swanson, who to me is the ultimate movie star. And I love the idea of someone I know and love being with Gloria Swanson. Every time I look at Gary's work or look on my wall and see either Gloria Swanson or Ann Miller, I'm just, it makes me so happy. The next piece, which I discovered in Bombay, India. I sort of also love the idea of hand stitching or embroidery or needlepoint as art. Those kinds of common things being elevated to art. My house is really like a museum of me, which, you know, living alone, I really sort of is more narcissistic than I'd like to be, but on a level, it is true that your stuff tells the story of your life and who you are and the people who love you. One of my favorite, favorite pieces of art, um, a good friend of mine, Carol Julie, during the pandemic, she spent a lot of time in her studio and she decided to make ceramics of viral Twitter memes. They're right in front of my TV, so when I'm watching my soap operas, I just glance down at them and I just feel so delighted and so happy. My final favorite work is a piece by Phyllis Stiller, the legendary comedian. I have a wall that's um, all of Phyllis Stiller art, which is one, two, three, four, five pieces. She loved being, painting and making art just for fun, but she had a lot of it on display in her house and you'd walk, she'd make you a drink and you'd have a nice conversation. And then you'd walk sort of through the hallways and there would be her art on display on the walls. So then of course everyone would buy a piece because they loved it and she would autograph it on the back. I love that Cohart's mission is to make people understand they can be collectors. It helps build community, and I think we all need more community. On all sides of the equation, whether it's galleries and museums, artists, collectors, art fans, even if you're not going to buy the art, it's an amazing place to go to be exposed to new art and new artists. Thank you for coming into my space and allowing me to share my art with you. I will see you on Cohart.